Right guys, this video here that you can see, this is the YouTube SEO checklist video that I did for the 2020 version of the Chrome extension checklist that we built. Now, the Chrome extension itself started to take off almost immediately as, as, as we had created, um, as soon as we had created the Lead Blaster version where we had some opt-in forms, etc. in there, we had a much better, more sophisticated system for building these Chrome extensions that we could actually just spit them out with a zip file that is already a ready-made Chrome extension and we could just upload it into the Chrome store. And it would have opt-in forms, it would have um, ability to collect telephone numbers for SMS marketing. It's got a whole push notification system, etc. in the background, an SMS marketing system, all within the Lead Blaster system, okay? So when we had created this um, YouTube SEO checklist with the Lead Blaster version and I put it into the um, Google Chrome where you can see in the browser over here and I open this up you can see it. then this took off this started to get about 1,000 opt-ins every single month okay it, it took off quite quickly now I made a mistake at that time because I thought well this is easy why don't I do like another 10 of these and then instead of having 1,000 per month, I can have 10,000 per month. In theory, it sounded great, right? But it didn't work out that way. Here's why. When I did the first one, I put the time and effort into making everything work properly, okay? I had the blog post that was really well done. It took me two or three days to build the blog post. I had a very, very high quality Chrome extension for that particular time. That Chrome extension would be out of date today. I've just done a brand new version, which is shorter, but much, much better. It's got even better strategies in it. Okay, and at that particular time as well, I had things in place that I put in for this Chrome extension that I did not spend time doing for the other Chrome extensions. So very quickly what I did is I had built about 41 Chrome extensions. I hired um, some people in Philippines to go and create these for me. I just gave them um, content that I needed them to build them with and some older ones that I wanted rebuilt, etc., with the new system. And I ended up with 41. Chrome extensions between two different accounts okay now here's the problem with that is that I couldn't optimize all of them I couldn't take spend the time I overwhelmed myself I got myself so overwhelmed that I kind of got stuck so what I did instead which what I should was what I should have done at that particular time anyway instead of building 41 I went back to the one that was working and I started to work on it more okay and what I did then was I worked on this video now this video is not the best video in the world. I read a script and it was really hard for me to read a script and it sounds like it was really hard for me to read a script as well when people are watching the video. Basically what happened with this video is that people would watch the video long enough for the call to action to go and get the checklist and then they bounced off the video, went to, go, went to get the checklist and they were gone, okay? Well, they were on my email list, but they were gone from the video. So the actual audience retention on this video is not that great. But here's what I did. I kept it anyway because it was building my list, okay? And I decided at that time, I'm going to drive traffic to this video, okay? Now, here's a shocker. We've all been told that the suggested video algorithm is based on watch time and click-through rate, okay? Now, we didn't have great rankings for this checklist, this, um, for this checklist video here, okay? This checklist video from 2020 that you can see here, it's got like 13,753 viewers, was not ranking and is not ranking very well for the keyword YouTube SEO checklist, okay? Um, or YouTube SEO tips that work, none of them. But it was getting traffic from suggested video. So I ran some YouTube ad traffic to be able to boost the amount of people watching this so that I could get more people coming in to my email list via the checklist. So the people, when they installed the checklist, they would give me an email address. Now, I made a mistake again because I stopped. I, I did the first 1,000 views. It cost me about $10. I used my tool, the Ad Blaster D Day tool. And it cost me about $10 and I stopped because the reason I stopped was I had got the organic traffic coming in after that, 
this just kept bringing in more and more traffic. That traffic was not coming from YouTube search, it was not coming from Google search, it was coming from suggested video. And even though, even though the average watch time was not good, the click through rate was good. Okay, so <laughs> there are some, you know, things that are going around that people are saying about this, about the algorithms and that about the algorithms, but CTR on its own is good enough to keep traffic coming into your video via the suggested video, okay? It's good enough. Maybe until, unless or until another video comes along around the same topic um, that's got both the CTR and the high retention, then it would just overtake you. That's probably the case. But for this, I found it just the CTR. And again, the retention rate wasn't that high. When people were watching from suggested video, retention rate is not that high. They were just coming into the video getting to the call to action part, which was quite early, and then they were clicking off and going, going on to my email list, which I don't care, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, and it was good enough for me. So the lesson here is that we can use the YouTube traffic to trigger the suggested video algorithm, but it doesn't come down to the watch time. Everybody's saying, well, if you're using YouTube ads, it doesn't trigger the watch time as far as the algorithm is concerned. It doesn't count. Well, it doesn't matter that it doesn't count. I'm telling you now, it doesn't matter that it doesn't count because if you can get into the suggested video, then you're gonna get more traffic from suggested video anyway. Whether it affects YouTube search or not is irrelevant, okay? It doesn't matter. You can get a lot of traffic just from suggested video. And this is what I did with this. It's the first time that I used the traffic sculpting system before I even thought of, or thought of it as a traffic sculpting system. I was just, at the time, giving this a boost so that I could try to speed up the process of building my email list and I was going to repeat this for the other Chrome extensions that I had. Now there's far too many there for me to do that with. I actually need to take a whole bunch of them down and work on one at a time and set up a traffic system for each one. Okay, so we set up a video. When we set up the video, the video's got a content upgrade, which is basically the Chrome extension checklist. So we, call, we have a call to action that we speak multiple times throughout the video, telling people, Go here and get the checklist. Go here and get the checklist. Go here and get the checklist. Go here and get this free SEO tool. Go here and get this free tool to help you to do X without having to do Y. Okay, that's the formula we need to use. Okay, so it doesn't matter if they're bouncing off. It doesn't matter if they're leaving after 30 seconds with the first call to action. Who cares? If you're getting those people into your email list, then you've got a chance to remarket to them, okay? This video as well will be in the Chrome extension. You can see that we can embed the videos in the Chrome extension. So we can do that, okay? You can see another one I've got here. This one is for rank sculpting. It's kind of like traffic sculpting, just the SEO stuff, some of the SEO stuff. This is the very first video I did for it. I've expanded on that video quite significantly since then. Um, but again, it's just a little checklist that people can follow, okay? And the call to action will get people to go over there. I haven't used it with the call to action yet, but it's there. It's the next checklist to give to the same audience and ask them to share it as well. So here's the next trick. We get them to share the content. We get them to share by giving them an opportunity to do a giveaway. Now. I have, a very, I have a better version of this one coming that I've actually written it all out. I just haven't published it into the Chrome store yet. And it's got a video at every section for the video rank sculpting, not the traffic sculpting, not the whole um, traffic sculpting course, just some basics from the actual video optimization. Because what I've discovered is with the traffic sculpting system, we can bypass a lot of the SEO stuff, but people are interested in the YouTube SEO. so. If we have a system where it is step by step, that it's explained to them every point, where every point is explained in about 90 seconds or something, and you have a video snippet in each part of the category there, so that it explains to them exactly that particular part of the strategy, then they can see the checklist and plus they can refer to that 90 seconds with a video. And that gives people something very, very good. Now, if you tell them about that and say to them, look, now that you've got this one, do you want an expanded version of this where I have explained everything in detail 
and you can get the snippets, the 90 second snippet. It tells you exactly what to do each step, but I've got even more steps. I've improved it since then. But if you want to do that, if you want that, then I need you to go and share this with two other people. Get two other people to come into this checklist. And once you've triggered that for that giveaway, I'm going to give you this one automatically. But you must get two people to opt into my email list to be able to make that happen. Then we can 3x or 4x or 5x, depending on how many people you want to get in. So that's how we can use this. But this was the very first time I had anything similar to the traffic sculpting system that I'm starting to work on now. Now, the traffic system that I'm starting to work on now, it goes much further. It's taken the concept from this, it's expanded on that content, and it's revved up this content in a big way. So we're building a system for more YouTube traffic that we can get with very, very, very cheap and very high velocity video views from use, using in-stream ads. We're gonna use that to build a retargeting list that we're gonna drive some more YouTube traffic to with discovery ads to get penny per click video views. By the time they have done that, then they've had two touches of your content. They are one traffic by that point. We're gonna use that to get people to come into the checklist at both points. We're gonna offer that checklist at both points. But what we're doing then is the second video, we're getting them to watch a video that you really care about, that you actually want to get a lot of traffic for, that is a cornerstone video, it's a flagship video, a, a video that you want to have long-term organic rankings for, long-term organic traffic for, that is high converting, that is working for you, that is bringing people into your email list. So we can build it in multiple ways. So the, the traffic sculpting system goes way beyond anything like rank sculpting that we can do within the YouTube SEO with your titles and tags and headlines, whatever it might be, okay? What we're doing here is something far, far, far bigger. It's far um, more ambitious. It's more um, growth hacking kind of approach rather than the search engine optimization approach, okay? So if you can see it like growth hacking, YouTube growth hacking, that's exactly what this is. And we can take things a lot further. So if you're interested in this, then there's a link underneath Today's the last day that you can get access to the traffic sculpting system before we get started, okay? With the traffic sculpting system, you get a full version of Lead Blaster, all of the tools in Ad Blaster. We're building new tools for Ad Blaster as well, including an in-stream ads version, a Gmail ads version, and also we're building a channel placements targeting tool as well. Okay, and plus you get full version of TrueKit as well because even though this is not necessarily an SEO system, we still want to have well optimized videos so that when these algorithms start to kick off, then we are sitting there waiting with well optimized videos. It doesn't take a long time to do. There's a step-by-step -step system for doing it as well. You can do it quite quickly once you get used to it. It's not hard at all, okay? But you still want to have best practices so that you can maintain your rankings as well because other people will be doing SEO and if they're doing SEO good, they can overtake you unless you're prepared as well. So the whole system is much bigger, it's much better, it's broader, more ambitious, growth hacking YouTube, it's possible. You can join us, click on the link underneath.